So are we only going to play games from the 1001 games you must play before you die? That's the plan. Well, what if we wanted to play games that weren't on the list? Well, I guess we'd need a completely different show. Pac-Man! Nice. Thank you. It was almost Pac-Man, but not quite. No, no, it was Pac-Man, because we're back. Right. Are from we... that, from, from like last episode. Right. Okay. When we so, were gone. Did it set us back? Did we already do this? I think we already, part? I'm pretty sure we already did this part. Because we press the thing. And then, and then you throw a batarang through the window. Yeah, and do the other first, thing. First you have to push the button. I thought I did, didn't I? I'm pressing space bar. He keeps being like, I need to raise the water level. If I keep thinking this over and over again, maybe it'll eventually make me do it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we did this. All right. My remote batarang to deliver power to the pump generator. Maybe oh. the electricity's already on. No, okay, that's wrong. So, when I'm you stay in just... here, do you see electricity? No, I don't. That's the thing. And like, we do have to press this button to make that happen. But if I just take out my remote battering and go, whoosh, 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 whoosh. There should have been power there. There should have been power there because it goes into that. But that's already broken. Clearly, I've done this. Kid. If I can use my remote um, battering to deliver. Listen, Batman. We get it. Try just moving on. I can't. Yeah, because like the water's still down there. I can raise the water level in the lock, but I need to power up the pump I... generator first. Okay, but we just you hmm. jump in the water. But then I'll die. But that might actually reset things. I need to deliver power to the pump. <laughs> to raise the well, water at least he was water. rationally thinking things through when he was in the water. Because okay, you, you can see... actually you actually saw the water animation of him climbing well, out of it. You see what's happening, right? Hmm. Like. The water is clearly I can use my remote batarang like to deliver power to the pump generator. Up to that part of the wall, right? Lock. But we can see the waterfall through where the water is. I think the game is glitched. Yeah, the game is glitched. See how where the see where the water comes up to? Yeah, now try throwing uh, try throwing a grenade in it. Okay, so it sees the water that wait. No. Okay. Well, no, you're not, that's not. Yeah, it's not going to let me do that. I can raise because I need to be on the lock, thing. But I need to power up the pump generator. I have no idea. I have no idea. Like you saw me, I did throw glue tra glue into there, right? Yeah. And it still doesn't think that you're here. My remote battery. It doesn't. No, it doesn't, because he's still saying it, isn't he? Yeah. Water level the Is he going to say that for the rest of the fucking game? Probably. I really wanted there to be a cutscene at the very end where we're he's, like fighting Joker and he's like, BAM! BAM! Oh God, I need to throw gonna, my remote batarang. He's gonna keep saying it. It'll probably stop the next time you have to go through a door. I'm hoping, but I don't know anymore. Uh, oh, right, this one is. <laughs> Bruce, shut up! <laughs> You're kind of rooting for Bane now, aren't you? I got a little bit. Since last session, I've been playing this game on my own quite a bit. Um... And one thing that I've learned is, is that A, uh, I, I, uh, I have played this game wrong. I think one of the reasons that I haven't got as much enjoyment out of this as I possibly could have is because there's a lot of stuff that I could have done that, that's optional that you don't necessarily have to do, but would have made everything way easier for me. For example, um, critical hits. Critical hits is something that apparently Dan just kept expecting me to unlock at some point. But you don't unlock it just by leveling up like you do everything else. Critical hits, you specifically need to go and beat Shiva. Once you've beaten Shiva, you unlock critical hits, and not before then. And what critical hits does is basically it makes it so that you get... Is it every time you hit someone in a combo, you get twice? Uh, if you if you hit somebody and you don't rapidly mash, but if you hit it at the right time, right after you hit another, hit, uh, right after you hit another attack... It does double damage and builds up your combo twice as fast. So yeah, like I have basically in so many ways just been playing this game wrong. And yeah, I kept it. I was like, man, I wonder what, like, did they not have it in this game? Was there, was it just not an unlock? Because you got critical counters instead. Yeah. As part of unlocks. But then like, you just, like, I, I was, I wasn't sure what was going on. Because yeah, that's a, that's a big part of the other games. Yeah. It allows you to three hit combo somebody. We'll be finishing this game either this episode or probably one of the next two episodes because what I did not realize next last time is, I mean, that thing that I just said about critical hits, I would go get that, but we're in the last section of the game and we can't go back. Um, 
Oh yeah, this is the Predator Challenge with Harley in it. You didn't even know there were two there, did you? Uh, well, he was climbing up. I did not see him climbing up until it was too late. Fortunately, everything worked out. Oh, not you too. Yeah, him too. Dude, I'm taking all you guys on on my own. Uh, Inverted dick oh, okay. Help! Nice! I, well, uh, <laughs> all so right. something, something, this game's super glitchy. I just, I don't know anymore, man. I mean, this is still a great game. If you've never played a Batman game before, I don't think this is a bad place to start. Um, I also played Arkham Asylum for a bit, and Arkham Asylum is just because it was the first game in the series, things are just quite a bit different there. So, um, it's not quite as, what's the word I want? What's the it's, they hadn't learned all the lessons that they learned by now, so it's not as, as fluid. It's a little bit slower and everything. He's in the Panopticon. All right, so this is it. The, the Panopticon is the last area in the game. It was right there. I even Every saw- Every time. It was, I like, I saw it before I ran into it, and then I just did anyway. All right. Uh-huh, oh, he did get me, shit. Well, no flawless free throw for me. Free throw? Oh, free Are we flow. playing basketball? <laughs> yes. No flawless free throw for me. Only dunks. All right, so that's it for that fight. You've distinctly gotten better. Like, you still have your issues, but you have just, like, you just, you fought that one, you were trying to be fancy, and then you were like, fuck it, I'll just win. Yeah, that's basically what it comes down to. And that's the thing. I mean, you want to be fancy in this game. You want to do, like, all the tricks Apparently and shit. And, uh, oh yeah, Deathstroke's still in jail, so that's a thing. And for good reason. You want to be fancy, because you want to make it look like fucking Batman, right? Yeah. You should have known trying to kill me was a waste of your time. <laughs> well, yeah, when it's 50 million bucks, I mean, it's at least worth a shot, time. right? <laughs> Let him go. I, I understand. You had a chance to let me die, and you didn't take it. <laughs> I bet right now you're wishing you had. I what do you think about Batman's no-kill policy? A lot of people. <laughs> do you think it's stupid? It's or do you think it is, like, really actually heroic? Time to unwrap My only problem is, is that when it was just Batman's policy, it was cool and heroic. Now it's everyone's policy? Now that's the only thing that makes a hero in modern comics. <sighs> Yeah, you go around beating the shit out of people with your bare hands and leaving people comatose, but he doesn't kill people, and that's the only thing that sets him apart from Zod. <laughs> yeah, oh. We're talking about Superman now? <laughs> Again, another movie that I refuse to watch because I don't want to watch someone ruin Superman for me. So, and if you weren't paying attention, those people who are watching, because I'm assuming you know exactly what just happened here. Yeah. So, Joker has wired himself to a thing, a uh, pacemaker inside of Bane, so um, the only way that we can keep Joker from getting electrocuted and killed is to actually kill Bane, because every time that Bane's heart beats, it powers up the generator for the electric chair. It's kind of silly, but I see why they did it, because, I mean, Joker's trying to make Batman do the one thing that he doesn't want to do. Which is kind of cool. Oh, that I, is that is the thing that makes it interesting and unique for Batman. Because yes. every other hero, eh. But when it comes to Batman, it's such a big part of his character that the villains, like his main villain, actually specifically goes out of his way to try to make him break that, yep. even if it means getting killed. Yep, yep, yep. And that's just that's kind of interesting. The Joker makes Batman interesting. Dark Knight is like your favorite movie ever, isn't it? Yep, it's Wait. one of them. Didn't I, didn't I do a takedown here? No. Clear the dot. Oh, no, that's, you have, Scripted. that has to happen because, yeah, the cutscene has to happen. So I did do my takedown, but my takedown was getting caught by Bane and then him snapping me in fucking half, because here comes Gordo. Gordon has no rules about killing. It's true. <laughs> what does it, what does it mean when Commissioner fucking Gordon doesn't have a rule about killing, but Batman does. Clearly, it means that Gordon's a supervillain. You don't need to. Oh, 
I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Jim, 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 Jim. Have a seat, Jimbo. We'll fry together like two little potato latkes. I do like that. That makes me happy. Like, some of the Joker scripting is still pretty good. And of course, now we have to have a flashback to learn how to use Shocker's gloves again. Not Shocker's gloves. Uh, what the fuck's his name? The Electrocutioner. Right, Electrocutioner. The Shocker is the is the Marvel one. Also, uh, yes. Grizzlebee's the sandwich. You may have to talk her into it. Um, right, I've got to stop Bane's heart here, so... First of all, there's You have to kill him and then unkill him. Yep. But for some reason, people are like, Oh, he killed someone. Clearly that makes him a villain. And then you restart his heart and then you're like, Yeah, and then you're like, Yeah, Gordon, what? What? You shot people. Okay, good, good. Beat down. Counter that guy. Some more beat down. Counter that guy. Some more beat down. Fucking just take him. Whatever. I'm tired of fighting you, Bane. Unbelievable. There we go. All right, so... This is not quite the end. Just because we're about to kill Bane, there's still one more section where we have to kill Bane again. And see, now Gordon is disappointed in us. Even though, as we just discussed, Gordon is, like, cool with killing people. The game is over, Joker. Let Captain Gordon go. Yeah. Put the gun down. Got anything to add over there? Nope. No. Because we're about. We're about. Well done. The we're about to defibrillate Bane back to life, which isn't how a defibrillator works. <laughs> so, you're, what you're saying basically is that you're just not a big fan of the ending of this game? Yeah, because uh, Batman kills Bane, and then Bane's still dead. I don't care what the game says. Press button to shock Bane, which in my opinion is pretty much is as the good laziest as... fucking game design ever. Well, it's just like fucking, what is it? Press F to show, uh, press F to pay respects. And see, now Bane gets all cranky because we wouldn't just kill him because apparently he wanted to die. Who the fuck knows? So now he's going to vent him up, baby. You leave me no choice. Was, is, this the pr is this the fight where you're in like the, the prison cell area? Yep. <laughs> Them stretch marks he just got. <laughs> Because I I don't I don't know if, if you know this, but skin it doesn't stretch like that. Well, maybe Venom makes it stretch like that. I love how Venom makes him like fucking super strong, but also super dumb. All right, so this boss fight isn't much of a boss fight. No, it's sneak up and do takedowns on him until the end of time. Silent takedown. So now he's gonna run himself into a wall. Wall take down. And he goes right into the electric fence. Now that's one of the ones. That's one of the ways you can do it. The other way is that he just, you just runs into just slam him into a wall? Yeah. So we're just going to sneak up behind him again. Oh, he thinks I'm in that vent. I ain't! Ah! So this is this is the boss fight. We're just going to run him into this, this thing here. And we have to do this until... He's out of health? Yeah. And, I mean, we talked before about... Um, like good boss fights, like you love the Mr. Freeze fight, and that's this is this is a pre what? Oh, is he? uh... There's a dog stuffing his face between my legs, being like, "So, how about you give me some fucking attention?" Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, oh god, oh no, oh everything's wrong, everything is terrible. Um, this is the first time we've had my dogs down here, and one of them, uh, Leonard, is is seeking attention. And by seeking attention, I mean demanding attention. Uh, we also spoke on the fact that Thomas loves Star Trek. Leonard is named for Leonard Nimoy. No, he's named for Leonard McCoy. Oh, is he? Okay, yes. sorry, wrong Leonard. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm going to those vents. I know, that's what I'm going to do. I'm just trying to make sure he didn't see me. You Like, I would have gone in as soon as he turned the corner, because he probably saw you. Nope, he's dumb. And a takedown. Okay. A takedown! Uh, what's happening? Oh, he's charging. Okay, bye! 
And I don't know if there is actually a time limit in this. Like, I mean... Ah! I, uh... I didn't realize that he'd caught up. Why? No! I really need to use a smoke pellet here. No, not a battering. Not a battering. Uh, Bruce, I'm gonna need you to act like you don't want to die. So yeah, in this one, all you do is you hide until he turns around, and then you take him to, and then you do a silent takedown, and then you hide until he turns around, and then you do a silent takedown, and then guess what you do? Uh, do you hide and, and then do a silent takedown? That's what you do. No way. Uh, you haven't played the Mr. Freeze boss fight, as I remember. No, I haven't. Oh, man. But, like, in, in the Freeze boss fight, mm -hmm. you, uh... You hide, then he tries to find you, and then you do a silent takedown. Okay. And then he prevents you from doing that specific type of silent takedown ever again. Okay, so it's silent takedowns that you use on him. You use a silent takedown, and then you use, like, a, 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 a hang, uh, uh, like, a, a gliding takedown, like a glide kick. Mm -hmm. And then after that, you use an environmental takedown, and then after that, you do something else. Because he stops, every time you do something, you can't do that to him again. Right. In this, it's just the same thing over and over again. Uh, you've already that. used you've already used a smoke pellet. Did I? Yeah. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. Now did he see me go in here? No. Fuck Bane. Ah! That was uh that was close. Oh Jesus. Why did it start me so close to him? Uh please go in. <laughs> no, okay, whatever, sure. Oh, you know she could you should switch to battle ranks. Oh, I guess that would work, wouldn't it? Because you can fucking batarang the the fire extinguishers. Does that? I I didn't try that in my first uh, in my first playthrough of this. Does that actually hurt him? No, but it works like a smell smoke pellet. No, I'm gonna I'm not gonna lie to you. Yeah. If I were no. 850 pounds of pure muscle. <laughs> yeah. And I grabbed the person who's tried to kill me. Uh huh. I would just repeatedly punch him in the neck until he was dead. Is he gonna try and look in there, or is he just gonna walk away? He's gonna look in there. I. No, he's he's gonna. <laughs> nope. Okay. <laughs> I had so much faith in you, Bane. All right, run. Uh, where is? There we go. We'll just slide in here. And then Bane will not Baby look in look. there. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Okay, so this is it, right? Yay! All right, cool. So. This is a basically boring boss fight. This is basically the fucking game, except there's one more. It's over, Alfred. One more thing that has to happen here. You haven't defeated Bane. Bane is still, I don't know, Baneifying, Baneizing, full of Baneitude. Help me out here. <laughs> I don't really know where you're going with this. Banetacular. That is exactly where I'm going with this. Also, Batman is dead. Yeah, no, that's, he's fucking dead. All right, so now I just want to get this quickly here. Come on. Uh... Because that's how that works, especially with and how it's a strong good thing, he is. And the best part is, it's a good thing thousands of volts and amperage going through his body <laughs> didn't kill him. <laughs> you know, uh, like electricity did last time. <laughs> well, no, the last time electricity brought him back to life. After killing him. After killing him, yes. So, uh, do we want to just make this an extended episode and finish this shit off right now? Yeah, may as well. Alright, because there's one more you can't see it, but I'm doing air quotes boss fight, and then this game is over. There's one more quick time event. It is yes. just a quick time event. Oh, and good, we leveled up. Should I level up before this last fight? Should I? It's important, right? It is. I mean, especially since you'd get a predator level, and that's... Oh, yeah. Um, am I just using that door? Are we really just waiting for this conversation yes. to be over? Oh, my God. Do you have to grapple up through the hole in the room? Oh, there it is. No, we gotta go up this way. Because doors are for suckers. Well, yeah. Uh... <laughs> you know what? Whatever! I don't care anymore. Help me keep these guys off the warden. So now we need to cement our broditude with uh, with the commish. How is Commissioner Gordon holding his fight? How holding his own in this fight at all? I don't know, cause like fucking Batman's getting beaten up here. That's what I wanted to do. And then another one, please. Thank you. 
And now let's just... Okay, you know what? He's not really holding his own in this fight. He just got hit in the head with a baseball bat. Oh, poor Commissioner Brain Damage. That's his name, right? <laughs> like It is now. <laughs> oh, that's where we went the first time we went in this room, at the very beginning of the game. Because in this game, it likes to call back to things that happened before, which is why we start this game and end it in uh, Blackgate. All right, so here's the last boss fight. So angry. What's a night? All right. Here comes my big interaction for this boss fight. I'm so excited, dude. I'm like getting amped up and shit. Now that's not. Oh, it's hilarious, dude. You of all people should see the joke in that. Oh, God, that felt good. It's a satisfying boss fight. Now we're going to walk over to him like this. And then... Wait for it. Wait for it. You just can get it through your thick scalp. I mean, most of it's bad, bad mask. We both exist because of them. Give up. You've lost. Get yeah. counter. Right there, that counter, counter icon. Those counter icons, when the game was first released, didn't show up. What? You could not beat the game. I actually, I got here, and I did that probably about a dozen times. Just like, because it said counter, sorry, they showed up, they said counter. But uh -huh. every time I clicked, nothing happened. And I did it like a dozen times being like, what am I doing wrong here? And it turned out that they had just fucked up, and I had to wait until like a week and a half later when they patched the game to beat the game. No way. Yep. They released it unbeatable? Uh, I'm not sure if it was like a, a bug that everybody got or just like a small selection of people got, but yeah, I could not beat this game. Dude, like of all the bugs that we've encountered, that, t that tops them all. This was not particularly well QA'd, was it? I don't know, because, like, you remember there was, the, uh, like, we've talked about a number of bugs here that just, like, there were bugs I had to quit the game and come back in just to keep playing the game. Yeah, and I mean, we even started this play session off with a bug. Yeah. That's just weird, man. I don't love that. That he sees Batman as a big, scary bat creature? Yeah, because... Any one of my guys would have killed him. He's fucking crazy, but he's... I never got the impression that he's that type of crazy. That his view of the world was completely warped? You know, yeah. My daughter thinks you're a hero. That's because we are a hero. But I still have to bring you You're in. such an idiot! Gordon, come in! Watch your 20! I'm in the chapel. And... Batman's gone. <laughs> you caught him. And how did you do that? I really hope, like, they don't show it, I don't think. I but I really want... Help. I really want Gordon to be like, he wasn't that bad, I mean... I am a black belt in judo. I keep asking myself why I didn't bring him in. Because he disappeared on you. You talked into your walkie-talkie, and then he was gone. I let him go. Why didn't I? Why didn't I bring him in? Oh, oh, incompetent police officer. Right. Yes. Because <laughs> in the in the GCPD, you just fail upwards. Well, I mean, have you seen the GCPD? It's true. Well, that's what I'm saying, is, is that basically... You remember, you remember when you were trying to get into the GCPD, so you landed on the roof right next to the sniper and took him out, and the guy next to him was just like, I didn't Whatever. see anything. It's, okay. So, if I was to rate this game, if this was a review show, I'd say I'd give this, like, a 6.5 out of 10. Do you say that's fair? I'd give it, like, a 7, because, again, yeah. it's, it's still a great game. It's just so full of holes and bugs that uh i don't know man it just it compromises some of the fun for me it takes away from the experience i'm having when i'm like wow i just fucking phased right through that great maybe he can give them something to believe in but yeah that's uh, maybe he can make them believe in that <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's the only thing he'll make them believe in so that is batman arkham city now as arkham it's city sorry arkham origins there, it says it right there. Now, this only accounts for, like, what? Fucking 30% of the game? Or 25%. Because while this game's story is obviously short, I mean, I think we wrapped this up in fewer than 20 episodes. Um, definitely fewer than 20 episodes. Um, but... There's a whole bunch of optional content. And I have to say... I think two of the assassins are optional. They are, yeah. Both Deadshot and Shiva. And like I said, Shiva is where you get fucking critical hits. Um... I think I had more fun solving the crime scene crimes 
than I did with the story. Because <laughs> the crime scene crimes, you just go from place to place in the city, checking out a crime scene, being like, I have to do this, and then go do this. And it's just like, that's when I felt like You Batman. felt like a detective? That's when I felt like Batman. I felt like I was going around the city solving crimes. As opposed to being, I mean, kind of railroaded in this game. I mean, I guess that you have to be railroaded to a degree in a game like this because there's a beginning and an end and shit. Well, I mean... What? Yet you're afraid they did this in Arkham City. Okay. Uh, in, in Arkham City, after the credits, the Joker sings to you. Really? And it's <laughs> fucking amazing. Yeah, not it's so much here. perfect. They then did it here, and then did it again in Arkham Knight, and it doesn't fit. Okay. Because you've had you've had the end of Arkham uh, Arkham uh, uh, City spoiled for you, right? Uh, the fucking spoilers? Uh, but yes, I knew Okay. At the very beginning, you, you remember when Joker like kicks you out the window? At yeah, the, near after, the very giving beginning? You, after giving you some of his blood. Yeah, but then he can talk to you on the phone because you put a chip into your in, he gave you the... I hadn't gotten that far, but okay. Okay, no, that happens right right after he kicks you out. Yeah. You put uh, you put a chip into your phone and then he starts talking to you and he's like, oh, and, he, and he starts calling you and being like, I was just wanting to talk. That's beautiful. But he actually starts leaving you messages. <laughs> yes. And at the very end, during the credits, it's, it goes, you have one new message. And it's Joker singing only you. Oh, that's so good. And it's so perfect. And then they thought that, and then ever like, obviously people liked it because it's such a good concept. Yeah. And they thought that apparently the thing that made it good was just Joker singing. That's not what made it good. <laughs> all right. Well, thanks for joining us going all the way through Batman Arkham Origins. Uh, At some point in time, we'll have to play Arkham City because that is still probably one of my two favorite games of all time. Ooh, what's the other one? Bastion. Really? Okay, well, at some point we'll probably play Bastion, too. Oh, we'll have to. All right, well, join us next time when who knows what the fuck we'll do. Shackled to a memory. You won't admit that we're the same and it's tearing me apart why can't i free your doubtful mind and melt your cold cold